Hi there, my name is Steve. I'm the founder and creator of Builder.io and I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use actions um, in your Builder content. This can be used for an enormous amount of things. Um, it requires a little bit of custom code, but so little that most people without code experience can actually work with it and it can be advanced as enough as you know your developers can go nuts with as intricate of code as they like. So I'm just going to show a quick example where I'm going to create a page with some block here in the middle. I'm just going to choose a random template, maybe this hero here. And I'll remove this button because I want to add um, one button in here that's going to make this block of content disappear and another button that's going to make it reappear. So a basic example of adding some dynamic content. So I'm going to add two buttons. Whoops over here. So I'll just drag a button in. You don't have to use a button. Buttons are just nice to use for this example because they look like buttons, but you can add click actions to any type of layer, any type of block in Builder. So I'm just going to name this button show. Looks like my head's a little in the way here. And I'm going to name this button hide. Cool. Now, I'm going to use the state object in Builder. This is a JavaScript concept where we have this object so we can update properties and then we can listen to those properties in other places. And okay. So if I click on our first button, show, I am going to um, go over to the data tab on the left. This is where we can add bindings, which we'll do later. Remote data, which I have another tutorial called something about custom data in Builder that shows you how to use that. But in our case, we're going to use actions. So I'm going to hit new action. I'm going to say the event is click. My head's in the way. Let's move my head. There we go. Click. And on click, let's say, I'm going to add a little JavaScript here, and I'm going to say state.hidden equals false. So I'm making up. We can add any property name we want on this state object. If you're familiar with JavaScript, this is a plain JavaScript object. If you're not, all you have to know, if you type state.anything equals something, in this case false is a JavaScript keyword that basically means no. That's the opposite of true, which means yeah. So we're just saying hidden equals false. You can copy and paste, or rather just type this exactly like you see it if you're following along. And we'll have more advanced tutorials later on sort of what else you can do with this. So I'm just making up a property called hidden that when we click the hide button now and add an action, the event will be click, and the action will say, um, also just so you know, I'm just selecting all here and deleting the default little comment here. I'm just going to say state.hidden equals true. Cool. So I made up a property called hidden, and one button makes it true, one button makes it false. It's like a little switch. So now I can click on these buttons, and even in the editor, those state actions will happen. You can even see in the bottom left corner here, our dev state shows up. So when we have properties on our state object, we get a little UI to visualize that and see. When I click this, it's off. When I click this, it's on. That's cool, but we want something to happen when we click on each of these. So now I'm going to click this other layer I made because it's the one we want to show and hide. And I'm going to bind this hidden property to the value of if this should be seen or not. So if I scroll up, again in the data tab, I hit plus new binding. I'm going to say git hide if, so it's sort of like hide if what, hide if, on the other side, if I drop down, you should see hidden. Because we created this property and we used it, Builder can figure out that there's a sort of on and off value that we're using called hidden, bind that. If that doesn't show up in the UIs here, you can always just type state.hidden. Just the way you typed it in the, the code for the click action, you can use the same value here the same way, state.hidden. Now, if I click around here, I can click show, and it shows, hide if it's hidden. I can also play with the dev state just to show and hide as well. If I go and preview this, we can see the same thing. I should be able to hide and show. Cool. You can do a ton of stuff with this in Builder. I will be creating more tutorials around more use cases, like maybe making a carousel or whatever. But just knowing how to show and hide things dynamically on button press can get you a long way. Later, we can handle custom forms and all sorts of fancy stuff. If you have any specific requests, please email me at steve at builder.io or feedback in general on this tutorial if it was helpful or if you'd like to see new things in it. Anyway, thanks for watching.